Hey everyone, uh, I just wanted to do a quick little video here. Um, I've been on TikTok a lot lately, a little bit of obsessed with uh, watching TikTok and videos and something that has really pressed on my heart as I have been watching that is uh, the, the videos that come across um, from people who are struggling during this quarantine. Uh, whether you're living alone by yourself or there's mental health things that are happening, anxiety and worry. Um, and that's just really landed on my heart. And so I thought I would do this video because um, the dot painting that I do is very therapeutic. It's very calming, very soothing. I understand the struggles with anxiety and, um, you know, trying to find things to do when you're on your own, especially. And uh, I find that this is something that I do that's very calming, very relaxing, kind of takes your mind off of the other things that are going on in the world around us today. So I wanted to do a quick little video to do this um, to the bare bones basic so that anybody can do it. You don't need to have special tools. You don't need to have special paint. Um, I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna use that you can find around home. That's going to be really easy for you to find and uh, be able to at least try this out, see if it helps. I just want to um, be able to help in any way I can. So if I can help, you know, even one person get through this quarantine, finding something to be able to do that can be calming. And uh, then that would be really amazing to me. So what I'm going to show you here is uh, the things that we can find around the house to um, be able to uh, use for dot painting. So I have thumbtacks, just your basic silver thumbtacks. If you have any kind of thumbtacks that have the flat end on it, those will work. I have a bunch of nails. I just broke open my toolbox and uh, found a bunch of different sizes of flathead um, picture nails um, in a variety of sizes. I have a sewing needle. I have toothpicks. You do want to have something that's a little similar to this, whether it's a toothpick or a needle, something that has a really fine, fine edge on it. Um, pencil crayons. We can both use both ends of the pencil crayon here um, to create dots. And then pencils, because the pencils are going to be great for plugging in these picture nails, which is how we create our tool. So whatever you can find, uh, basically that is from a toothpick size to a thumbtack size, whatever you can find that will create a dot will um, will work so you can as far as your canvas um, you can just pick stones i picked a couple small ones here uh, a small one that i'm going to do with you with a really basic pattern um, just because then you can go out on the on a walk or in your garden in your yard and be able to find something that's small it doesn't have to be perfectly round um, it can just uh, it can be any stone that you can find if you have wood if you have canvases, if you have anything basically that you can paint on, um, will work because I paint on a variety of different things. And as far as paint, if you have acrylic paint, any colors, any colors of paint will work amazing. If not, you can use house paint. So I have a couple samples of just house paint that I didn't end up using. You can use those. Um, kids paint, if you've got it at home, if you've got kids, any kind of tempera paint, anything like that. Uh, will work. So whatever you can gather, uh, bring all to the table and then we'll get started on showing you how to do this um, really calming activity. So I hope it helps. I hope you're excited about it and uh, that you can carry it on as something that can just be really helpful uh, during this time. Okay, so I have my stone here and my paint. And uh, I hope you guys didn't mind my quarantine hair and no makeup face, but I really felt like I needed to do this video today after uh, watching the TikTok videos. And um, yeah, that was my priority as opposed to looking all uh, flashy. <laughs> so what I'm doing right now is I am just pressing um, my nails into my um, pencils. So I've got a couple of nails in different sizes. I've got my thumbtack now. I have my toothpicks. I have my pencil crayon. For the pencil crayon, 
because we want to use both sides. This side is a great dowel all on its own, but this side, if it's not, if it's sharp, um, just take a piece of paper and uh, flatten it so that you get you get a nice flat edge on the end of it. You can just uh, scrape it along until you get until you can get that. Um, what else do I have here? Oh yeah, a couple other nails. So as you can see, really, really quick and easy to be able to put these together and uh, get started. So I'm just going to show you with one color today how to do this Mandela. Um, if you've got more colors, go for it. If not, um, I, I really wanted to just make sure that if somebody could have even one color of paint, they can make this happen. So I uh, just really want to open this up to, to everybody to be able to do. Um, if you're interested after this in getting a little bit more technical and uh, adding more colors, I have other videos that, that will show you how to do that. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we wanna create a center in our the middle of our canvas or our stone, whatever it is that you're painting on. If you have a canvas, like a square or anything, you can measure out to find your center point. Um, if not, you can just kind of eyeball it here. Just like that. If you have um, fabric, a fabric ruler you can use those on your stones especially to be able to find that spot but again I really want to keep this as basic as possible um, so that people aren't worried about not having the right things and, and shying away from doing this so I've got the center dot I just used my thumbtack for that because we want to have it a little bit bigger then you're going to take one that's not quite as small as your toothpicks um, I think I'm going to use one of my little little nail heads here and what we're going to do is we're going to put dots on each side of this on the top and bottom and on each of the sides just like that we say that uh, creating mandalas like this can be it's very soothing very therapeutic so um, I really hope that this helps some people out there um, who are struggling right now so the next thing that we're gonna do is we are just going to put dots right in the middle of these keeping them all as close to the same size as you can like that and then you're going to use that same tool again and, and put dots in the middle of each of those There, look at that, we're already on a roll. Okay, so once you've done that, we're going to go and we're gonna step it up a little bit in our size. Not too much bigger, but let's see here. Probably this one, I think. So as you can see, this is the tool I just used and I'm going up a little bit here. A couple more sizes, I think I have a couple sizes in between, but I wanna to go to this one here because I want to have these ones a little bit bigger. And now we're going to, what we're going to do is we're going to put a dot that's right in the valley between two dots there. So you can see. And then we're going to skip a valley and we're going to put another dot. And we're going to do that all the way around where we're skipping two dots there and then putting a, a big dot at any point in time you can pause the video and uh, 
do your dots and take your time and then just come on back when you're ready because it does take a little bit of time to get used to um, doing it a little bit quicker so we have our big dots done now and I'm gonna put my tool here aside and I'm going to take out my toothpick or you can take your toothpick or your your little um, sewing needle, darning needle, if you've got that. And what we're going to do is we're going to put a dot at the end of each of these dots that we just made. Right at the top. like that and then we're going to keep our toothpick and what we're going to do is we're going to we're only dipping one time and we're going to start on the edge of one of those dots or on the side of one of those dots and we're just going to dot 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 all the way down around that big dot that we made and the reason that we only dip one time is because each time you put your tool down onto the canvas and go around because there's less and less paint, that's what creates that descending dot. So we're going to do that on one side all the way around. Okay, so once you're done that, we're going to take our dot, our toothpick again, and we're going to do the other side of those big dots. So we're going to start on the side and go all the way down again. There, so we are on a roll here now. Okay, so you can put your toothpick away and we're going to take, um, let's see, I'm gonna take my sharpened um, pencil crayon, which I've just created a little flat edge at the end of it, because now I just wanna pop a little dot in between. So you can see the valleys that we skipped before with the larger dots. I'm just putting a little dot in between to fill that space. Okay, so now we're going to um, take our toothpick again. And basically what we're gonna do is the exact same thing that we just did. And uh, we're going to put a dot at the top, right in line with the one that we just did before. Wipe off your toothpick. You don't want to have too much paint on it because otherwise you start losing that tiny dot. So the next part we're going to do here is the exact same thing that we just did.
and then once you've gone all the way around you're going to do the same thing on this side Okay, so there we have it. We've got all the way around for our next spring here. So now what we're going to do is create our next layer. So I'm going to take the other side of my pencil crayon, my um, the flattened dowel end of it, and we're going to dip it into our paint. Now for the dowels, something that's quite important is to make sure that you're not dipping your your um, tool all the way into the paint and getting paint around the edges you just need paint right on the edge of your dowel right on the bottom and you're just going to gently press it down onto your rock or your canvas you don't need to even touch the dowel to it you just want to be able to transfer that paint from your tool to your stone or your whatever it is that you're painting on If you have any paint splatter like this one, I'm going to be able to scrape that one off just because my stone does have a finish on it. But if you don't have a finish, if your canvas is just uh, its natural state, then just uh, quickly take a Q-tip or something and uh, like very damp Q-tip and not very damp, uh, slightly damp <laughs> and just wipe it off and then uh, you can redo that, redo that dot. show you what that looks like here just there just like that okay so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to take um, the dot the dotting tool that you would have used for this very first ring of dots that we created. And what we're going to do is we're going to um, put two dots in between these here. If you need to use a smaller tool um, to be able to create those two dots, then go for it and just work with the space that you have. Just like that and then we're going to use a tool that's just a little bit bigger than that one so not quite as big as that first those first big dots it's basically one that's right in between there um, that you want to use next and we're going to just put a dot right in the valley of those two dots that we just made
Good. Okay, so then the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to take our toothpick again. Actually, you know what? We're going to take the um, top of our pencil crayon, the sharpened edge, and we're just going to create a little bit of a bigger dot at the top of all of these large circles that we made, large dots we made here. And then we're going to take our toothpick and we're just going to go down the sides just like we did before. And we're going to go on the other side too. There we go. So we can finish that part up. Now what we're going to do is take that tool that we used for these large dots here. And we're just going to place a dot right on the top of those middle dots that we made. And then we're going to take our toothpick. What we're going to do is put that those dots again right on the top of each of these. This just creates, doing this creates that um, center for each of your dots. Just so that uh, it's all even when you go to do your descending dots. So what we're going to do is we're just going to do our dots all the way around that dot that we just created. And then we're going to go on the other side here, too.
the next thing that we're going to do, next thing we're going to do is take our um, pencil crayon again, our pencil crayon top, because it's just a little bit bigger than our um, toothpick. And we're going to create dots on each end of these. And we're going to stay with the um, size of pencil crown and just do our descending dots so that they're a little bit bigger. Once you get down to the that smaller part if you find like your your um, pencil crane is just a little bit too big to get in there into those tight places just grab your toothpick and uh, use that to create those smaller dots in the smaller spaces And then you're going to go on the other side as well. Okay, so we've done all of that. We're almost done, but we're going to do that same thing, exact same thing again. Taking our um, pencil crayon, and adding those dots at the top. And filling in down the sides.
And then we'll go down the other side here too. Okay, so we have really one more thing to do. I just want to fill in a little bit more of that space. So I'm going to take my tool that we used for these dots here and these ones. And I just want to fill in that space here just a little bit. There. So we are all finished. And you can let that little beauty dry. And I well, that's it. We've completed our little uh, mandala and I hope you had fun creating that. I also hope that you feel more relaxed, more calm, um, and that you were able to kind of just let your mind be for a short amount of time even uh, while you were creating your stone. Uh, the great thing about these is that the benefits of it go well beyond just painting it. Um, being able to look at your stone, uh, feel it once it's dry, the texture um, uh, is very soothing when you can you know, rub your hands along it and uh, just being able to look at it um, and, and hold on to it especially if you did do a stone the weight of the stone uh, the feel of it um, all of that the visual effects can all be very very calming so i really hope you uh, enjoy the video and enjoy your stone and uh, and, and have the benefits of um, that peace of mind for a little while peace of soul and uh, i'll see you next time